Oh, what is up, guys? We're going to be talking about the new Catastrophe team and if it's good or bad. I honestly think, think this team is getting better each time they get a new set of characters and that it could be very meta very soon. So let's talk about it. All right, guys, so we're here. I'm going to talk about the most underrated units in the game. One of them being Easton, the other one being Mono. Well, Mono is not so underrated, but she does get disrespected for no reason when she's very, very good. All right, so let's go over the yellow bit in the room. Easton. Why is this character so slept on is beyond me. Uh, she's very, very, very good. And I do think she's going to be, she's going to be the type of character that is slept on at the beginning. But whenever the next Catastrophe unit comes in and it helps her up keep this card applied and makes it to where like they can't cleanse this she's going to be the best unit in the game potentially well top tier i wouldn't say best but top tier unit so what's so good about oxidize uh, infl uh so inflicts damage equal to 300 percent of the attack on all enemies applies oxidize for three sec or for three turns right this is gonna be two turns right the reason why level 3 is so good and level 2 is so good is because of this effect right here. Oxidize decreases skill uh, ranks and inflicts damage equal to 30% of max HP for every skill that has its rank decreased at the end of the, end of the enemy's turn, right? Now, there, there's going to be uh, a lot of like content graders and a lot of people that say this skill sucks because of Margaret. Well, here's the thing. Margaret is not in every single team in existence of this game. She is on a lot of them, but she's going to start aging out now that Gother is a thing. Because Gother counters her, right? Well, whenever the players start st stop using Margaret, even with Margaret, right? Even if you're playing against Margaret, this skill is still good. Because you would have to rely on drawing a cleanse card every single turn to cleanse this, right? You know how annoying this? That means you can't focus on your level 3s, can't focus your level 2s. You got oxidizing, you're going to want to cleanse it. This is how it is, right? But whatever, you're wasting utility. And you're getting damage out of it. So you're damaging them, and they're wasting utility. Very, very helpful soul card. And whenever this thing does tick, and it does tick good, oh, you're going to be like, damn, people are spinning on this card. Because this card does a lot of damage. Even on HP defense, this card does insane damage, right? Now, the other most underrated uh, pass in the game, I think this pass is very good. It's just in the current situation we're in, it just seems like it's bad because the seven catastrophes, older units need a stat upgrade or a stat update, right? So whenever they get their awakening forms, this will definitely help them out quite a bit. Decreases the seven catastrophes, uh, catastrophes allies damage taken by 3% for every turn uh, for every one orb in the ultimate gauge. So you just get really, really tanky. So this is going to be good on HP defense units the most because it's going to help them keep that damage like off of them so she becomes very tanky mono and attack defense is fine like uh, our attack crit she's mono is insane on a crit, attack crit recommend heavily and uh this this is a very good this is a very good passive release at a very awkward time because we don't have the full seventh catastrophe teams yet that is fully like awakened and nude and updated right so she's very good also she's got one of the best uh one of the best ultimate depletes in the game single target but it's really good at level three this thing depletes three ultimate gauges at level two it uh deletes two at level one it deletes one right you probably most likely always use that two or three right very 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 good very very good she's super good super good all right now let's talk about the other most talked about unit well she's been on like a lot of people's minds but she's good or bad and a lot of uh i think she's very good even though her alt is like Gimmicky, it's still good. Now, let's go over her passive. When all allies on the battlefield are the seven catastrophes, increases all stats of the hero by 3% each uh, uh, each time an ally is damaged from skill use. Limited 10 times. The reason why this is so good is she's the last one on the field. This is now in effect. And you can get up to 30% more stats. All your stats increased, right? She becomes very, very, very good. She becomes the best unit in the game with this fully stack. Not even like gonna. She can, she can, she's just the best unit in the game when it's fully stacked. Now, the, the restriction behind this is a little gimmicky, I agree. I think it should have been the seven catastrophes and humans. And she would have been fine, right? Uh, but, like, since, it's, and since the catastrophe team seems to be getting buffs and we're getting more new characters in the future, this is going to age well. I know it's restricted, and there's a reason why. If this wasn't restricted, Mana would be the most talked about, most broken unit in the game. And I think she still has the potential to be... 
because even though it's restricted, she's the best unit on her team and she doesn't have an awakening yet because of this passive. So they need to take this passive and put it on her awakening. She needs this passive on her awakening, 100%. Otherwise, the other awakening unit won't be as good as her, guaranteed. So uh, her skills are very good. Spike, always good. And then you have an AoE Sever, same thing as Zarya, very, very, very good. Her her uh, ultimate is like a little hit or miss, depending on like. I think this alt is better at higher, uh, like higher rank ranks. I think the minimum that I would want it's three six, because then you could actually crit, do decent damage, and then the next turn you just double your damage, which is nice. At one six, it probably just hits like a wet noodle. Two six, it can hit hard on type disadvantage. I think three six and four six are like the golden like number for this one. Do really really good damage and potentially one shot the opposite of. Like a blue card if they don't have any like insane buffs on them now the other thing that this character has is the best relic in the game in my opinion this 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 is going to carry you in a lot of matches inflicts corrosive damage on the enemy equal to 20 percent of hp for one turn if the enemies or if the heroes attacks against is like if they crit right if you crit you just do 20 percent max hp after that turn ends because of corrosion i there's so many matches where i could have just like straight up won easier like I, I won the match but it would have been way easier to win if i had this because uh, I, I have videos that i went against the goddess team killed killed goddess and then it was tarmio sarmio and whatever else on the field if i just aoe corrosive them it would have made the fast like way faster because i had a single target to make sure i knock out tarmio over knock out sarmio and then like you know slowly burn them down right uh that this this relic's going to help the team's dps insanely it's going to be insane all right, let's go over the last two characters. I'm running Green Chen because he's got a really good passive. His passive is going to be where it, after you use three skills, you get a free rank up. And also when, when it's level one and two, when you ever start using your skills, you get increased damage, right? Really, really good. Uh, I have a 6-6 six, six ultimate. Inflicts uh, scatter, so it ignores resistances. Really good ultimate. Uh, he has a ultimate control move. Really good. And then this does more damage to weak points. So oxidize it, oxidizing as well with this right he's a very good unit he's just a little outdated when it comes to his stats his stats are slightly lowered so uh low so whenever they get the new shin out oh he's awakened shin or they give this guy a stat buff because he'd be insane with the stat buff and then i'm running red lilia over blue lilia there's a reason for this this passive is insane i like this passive a lot more than the other passive applies corrosion on the enemies with three orbs or less in their ultimate gauge for two turns decreases attack of enemies with five orbs or more in their ultimate gauge by 10% for two turns. So it really helps you tank and stay like consistent on the defensive side. So I really, really like it. I also really like her ultimate. Uh, three, four, uh, three, uh, three, six. Removes buffs. Right now, this is a buff meta. So her ult automatically has more value than a lot of alts out there because you just remove the buffs and you frag their team, right? And then does 420 damage on level three. Really good ultimate. Very, really good ultimate. Uh, here's another good card. Depletes, uh, depletes enemies ultimate gauge once, uh, level two, and then level three does, does, like, there's, this team's an ultimate control team. I really like it. And then this will also apply some healing back at you, uh, whenever, like, you hit them, right? It's not as good as the other heal card, but it does damage, so it helps out with the DPS. I don't mind as much. I do like this a lot. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about the team. The ones, well, the, the, the other cool things that they get their own artifact stat. And it increases by uh, each per like it'll go up a percent each time you level it up. So at level five, it's level five percent or whatever. So really, really good card artifact set. Very powerful artifact set. Uh, get attack out of it, defense out of it, some HP out of it. It's all well, really well balanced. I really, really, really like this set. Free SSR card too. So yeah. All right, let's go into matches and uh, show them off. Fucking assault team. Oh my god, it's the same two teams every damn game. How oh, original. All right, what we'll do then is can't rush, but we'll rush. Uh, I don't even know what we rush, man. I guess we rush it all. We actually do. Fine, we'll rush model all. He'll roll. I'm not even like scared of assault. Melly himself doesn't scare me. Not at all. Not a little bit. It's. Just this team is so boring to fight because of what you have to do to fight it. Like, I don't like the Goddess team because it's, once again, boring to fight. I don't like the Assault Melee team because it's boring to fight. I like fighting Bond's team sometimes because at least Bond team, you can actually, you know, attack. But, like, Goddess team, I hate it because it's just shielding. 
uh, and ult rushing. This team is just you need to hit them, but you don't want to hit them because you'll build up Assault Melee's passive. So you have to deal with other crap on the field instead. And then like it's like it's such a like gimmicky team. I don't like it. Yeah, go for yeah, it's fine. At, at least corrosion doesn't apply to him. What I want to do though, like, I want to play oxidize. I know I'm flying. Like I know I said not to attack, but it's just oxidize. Apply more annoying statuses. And then we'll alt roll with a uh, mono and start going. Well, we should probably wait until the first set of. Uh, to alt probably cigarette and then we'll dissolve ah uh, how do i want to do this i can get easton's all next turn or the turn after next if i do this right uh geez, that's awkward i think i'm okay though thank you wise it's gonna hurt maybe no not really but i'm all thinking that too. Okay. Anyone else want to hit me? Bitches. Fuck off, you. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. All things fine. This. And then we'll remove all his gauges. Because that's his third hit, I'm pretty sure, so. He'll die next turn either way, if not. Oh, we don't even need the bleed. We just kill him. I should have probably not ulted him, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Whatever. I wanted to ult uh, Stelgerus, but it doesn't matter. Assault melee does not scare me. Not in the slightest. Assault Melee's like, whatever. Like, he's, he's a joke at this point. Unless it's alt 6-6, six, six, I'm not worried about it. Even with it being 6-6, six, six, I have so many, uh, so many, uh, alt gauges that, oh, please don't kill the, uh, if he dies, it's okay. It'll just mean my cards won't work. It's okay. He, he did his job. Him dying is not the end of the world. In fact, you want these two on the field last anyway, because these play off each other really well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna AoE and target. This is Mono's game now. He sends this to be either as a side, like she's just there to use her passive and maybe oxidize once. All right, that's another one down. We have quite a bit of damage reduction too. Can I not draw Eastern cards? He's gonna ult us, and that's it. So we just like steal back. I don't know if anyone dies here. Easton is red, Mono is tanky. Okay, Easton does die, but Mono's tanky, so we just win. Like the 1v1, we win the 1v1. There's not even like a real 1v1 here. Uh we just do more damage. So what we'll do is just pop a pop that. He's very tanky, but it's fine. We're very tanky too. It's gonna be a tank off. Well, I'll bleed him next turn. Very, they're very, very similar in a way, like in a way that how their passive work. I, I heal that off all next turn. He can't one shot me. It's pretty much what it's coming down to, and I don't know if I can ever one shot him. However, this will help me stay alive. My life still will keep me alive. You hit me. I hit. This is gonna be a fucking hit. Attack. It's gonna be us hitting. Like I don't know. This might laugh. This is gonna go down until the bleed kills us, probably. But we can just life steal up. I don't know if this match ever ends. To be honest with you, it's literally just a smack match. <laughs> Hit me, okay? Hit me again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
chill. Got this. I would need a level 3 level uh, single turret. Alright. Healed up. That's good. That, I'll use that. I'm gonna use this. Okay, he's just using on the heal. I understand, bro. It's it's uh it's the oh I kill him actually. Unlucky ducky, bro. Unlucky ducky. Sorry, mono is just a better uh, it's, it's just a better melee. I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, good. Just too good, man. 